What's up, bro? Finally back riding. How does it feel? My leg is a little bit sore. My foot is especially sore because this is my first day walking on it in about two months. Also, of course, didn't have to wait to ride, so I'm riding. I'm really right. enjoying it, and I, I know that it's, it's doing wonders for my body as far as challenging new muscle growth that unfortunately hasn't had any chance to grow within the past couple months since I broke my leg. How'd you break your leg? I just ran out for a quick errand quick uh, in the city and I, it was a really hot day and I neglected to put on any gear and on my way back I was right in the alley um, to my apartment. I just got hit with some nasty speed wobbles um, from some imperfections in the road and I was wearing shorts and no socks and tevas at the time no gear or helmet I landed bad I wasn't in, in the headspace to be riding I was just you know looking forward to getting done with this errand quickly and getting back into my apartment and you know the ride was definitely lacking in tension and I can see where that is where I, I made a major mistake because I I didn't go into the ride with the intent to ride safely and I kind of took advantage of this beautiful form of transportation and there was karma for that for sure um, and I definitely learned a lot from like that simple like just that really really simple mistake I was I was only going like five or ten miles per hour and I fell off and my leg snapped and I it was insane like I weren't you walking on it I yeah I walked well, well the thing is though I I I I did I broke my fibula okay. and that's like the smaller yeah. secondary one yeah that one there it was a clean break so yes I was still able to walk on it and literally right after I fell and I broke my leg I I was gushing blood immediately and I didn't even pay any mind to it. I just went to check to see if my Sherman was okay. I like I I, I checked the rim. Yeah. I, I checked the rim on one side and then I laid it over and then I checked the rim on the other side. And then I walk. managed to hop. I couldn't walk, but I was able to hop back on my wheel. And and, and well, that like, was sit and, on it? What? What did you do? See it like sit you did right it? No, I just I just rode on it, standing up up to the apartment and um I set it at the at the back. Of, at the back door of my apartment wow. and started screaming for my girlfriend and she saved me <laughs> yeah good yeah. thing she was there then yeah dude she um she's taken better care of me than anyone else ever has in my life yeah that's awesome yeah awesome. it's been it's been incredible yeah man it's a uh, it was the longest time i went without riding since I have since my I started my riding journey when you started riding when you started riding I started riding shortly after you which was in 20 2021 yeah yeah yep so I, I started riding yeah just shortly after you because I bought your Nicola right right, right. Yeah, I bought your Nicola and you you got you didn't upgraded. have that long <laughs> nope yeah I, me I didn't have it long <laughs> no you no you didn't have, have it long either but yeah, just all of the time, just with this being the longest time that I wasn't able to ride, like I, 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 I leaned heavily on this, you know, habit and coping mechanism and just recreational activity for a lot of my joy and, and pleasure and freedom in my life. And when I, lost that for a lack of better words i 
was devastated and it forced me to re-remember who I really am behind the wheel. And, and I did a lot of, I had to do a lot of spiritual work because I was extremely depressed and I was not content with just lying in that depression and in the suicidal ideations, just of feeling like not worthy and feeling like, I guess I don't deserve to ride because I broke my leg. And, you know, I guess maybe this means that I shouldn't be doing this or whatever. Like I, I, there was two choices for me. I, I either stay in that vibration or I choose to, to raise it. And I, I chose to choose compassion with myself and, and love and forgiveness and realize that I made a mistake and that's okay because I'm learning from it and I'm learning that I can be a lot more intentional and, and careful and that is actually beautiful because I am more present in the moment and I am more grounded and I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm going into this, this hobby, you know, with a whole new mindset and appreciation for the slowness in life. And <laughs> if anyone knows me, they know how fast I like to ride and how fast Sometimes I like to ride life and this was an incredible time for me to learn a lot about myself and learn a lot about life around me and find appreciation and joy and, and pleasure in so much of life. Just, just being, just being me without the wheel or being able to fucking walk or anything, excuse my language. Needless to say, I, after all of that, of course, this is my first day walking, and I'm, I'm back riding. Again, because like I said, I can't. And my intention with it is not just to have fun now, but to really appreciate the little things in life and let this allow me to embrace the joy in the, in the little things, in this beautiful world around us with all of these beautiful riders and just people living their own lives in their own beautiful, unique way. And I'm not slowing down for anyone <laughs> because there's no reason, there's no need. I. I'm gonna continue to, you know, ride ride the wheel. When I say slowing down, I mean like I'm not gonna confine myself to just driving a car and you know just being able to walk. I am gonna continue to utilize this, you know, one of a kind mode of transportation because I've tried everything else and and this is just it's unmatched, dude. Like I had I broke my leg and I had surgery. And this is my first day walking again. And I'm able to ride this with practically no problem. I can guarantee you I would not be able to do that with any longboard or skateboard. Not to bash on those because I have those too. And I, I enjoy them, but I can't ride them at all right now. This is a blessing, of course, right now. Because I can go, you know, ride on the trails again and... With that being, like, I can walk on them too, but it hurts after a couple minutes because the, the leg is still recovering. Nah, but you love it. <clears throat> yeah. I, I, I love the hobby and, and just the, the community especially. I, I love how the community didn't fade at all when I wasn't able to participate in it. Instead, I felt even more supported. I felt a lot of love from everyone and and a lot of, of a lot of appreciation from from everyone and I was really grateful for that, you know, like it showed me that the relationship that we have kindled through this hobby doesn't just 
have to, you know, stick to that. Like we can be friends outside of the hobby, you know, and, and do stuff in real life too. And, um, you know, shout out to Trophy Wook and Declan and Bankrow and Sean for, you know, their support, especially. I really appreciate, you know, them just, just being there, like, and, you know, checking in and just genuinely caring. Really good people. And that's honestly, mostly this community. Like, that's how most of these, these people are. But bro, and, we know we would go insane too if we had to do what you had to go through. Yeah, well, I, I, I could have gone insane, but instead, I, you know, I, I feel like I almost reached a, a sense of enlightenment yeah. because of my, my daily practices with myself and my self-love and my commitment to loving life, regardless of what happens. Right. My best advice for a new rider is to, especially with all of these new wheels coming out and, and even the used market being filled with a lot, now a lot more high speed wheels. If you're a brand new rider, take it easy on the speed because especially if you are still getting, you know, all of your gear, because that was how I was when I first bought my wheel, I couldn't afford to buy my, all my fancy gear at first. And I was just rocking with what I had. So while you're learning the, just all of the techniques and just getting it dialed in for yourself. All right. It's good to see you, bro. Hell yeah. It was great chatting.